like Troy's in a rather interesting state right now, with a mixed bag across the board when it comes to good and bad characters. So today, I thought it'd be fun to rank every Electro character to find out which ones are the strongest. My name is Juice, and let's get into it. We'll see, okay. Let's get into ranking, okay. Kudro Sara, I think she's good, but I would say A. Am I crazy for that? I would say she's like low A, high B. I agree with you. Cause like, okay, she's got Raiden, she's got Cloriander. Not mostly just those two, but like that, those are pretty good use cases. Uh, especially with Clorox. She's getting carried by her Clorox uh, synergy. B? Mm, B, I, I don't think C. B, yeah. Sara's better than uh, most people think, I find. Yeah, that's fair. I, think, I guess it's because back in the day, like, getting her C6 was just like ridiculously hard. I, I suppose there's other options if you're playing Raiden, but with Chloriander, it's, it's quite- uh, they're, It's the same for both, though. There's other options, but I feel like Kujastar is a really good one. I, I think Loa is a good place. Kuki Shinobu. Okay, Kuki is as good as Hyper Bloom is, and because I don't really have a high opinion of Hyper Bloom, I wouldn't really put her above, like, B, but I feel like most people would tell me that she's A above uh, Kujo. What do you think? I think she's B, but I know that most people would probably think she's, like, high A. Hi, yeah, hi, eh? Low S. Ah, uh, S? No, what do you mean? S is a bit glaze. Cucumber, sorry. Uh, she's a ninja. It's an instant. If you want to talk ninjas, wrap up from Honkai. Sorry, I'll do it. Sorry, was my first four star. I tried using her as a, a DPS. How did that work out for you? I'm curious. If you want to talk about S tiers, because for me, Hyper Bloom is just like, she's a good unit. And she enables Farina and all items teams. And I did see in my recent Kuki video that she's still pretty good. I do think she's still pretty good. But relative to the Queen, this is a real S tier Electro. Now, Chloriander is flexible, strong, really decent. Such a good character. Such a good DPS character, dude. Like, she's got Overload, she's got Hyper, she's got Aggravate, she's got, if you want to be cope and joke around, sure. She's got physical, but you get the idea, right? She's really good. Uh, she's a really nice DPS. She's super strong. I uh, I would say she doesn't really want her Sig. That's like the main drawback here. Otherwise, she's incredible. She fixes all the issues of an aggravate. She self-sustains, goes really fast and whatnot. Very clean play style. Uh, she's incredible. I, I think she's a really good Electro unit. I do think she's deserving of S. Clarence says, yeah, no, she is absolutely deserving of S. Clarence C0 over Raiden C6. That's a bit of an exaggeration. Um, at which Clarence specialized in Electro Charged. Maybe at some stage we'll get someone like that. I feel like but I feel like Florand has enough flexibility to the point where I can let that slide. Like she literally works in overload, man. Like she's she's a modern electro DPS that while being while being the best aggravate carry has other team options. I think that's pretty neat. So yeah, she's S. Yaimiko, uh, I'm thinking A tier. What do I think? Like like low A, maybe above Kujo. Because she's a decent, she's a good aggravator. Do we think A or B? I, it's kind of hard to decide. Because I feel like with, with Yai Miko, right? Miko is high B. Yeah, I suppose you could say high B. Because the thing is, I never really look at Yai as a sub DPS. I look at her as a main DPS. Because her field time is too long to fit comfortably into most teams. Like, when you look at Yai Miko, it's, you're probably looking at her as like a... Oh, she can you know, do her turrets and whatnot, but I feel like it's better to just run her as an aggravate DPS most of the time. Yeah, she should be low A. Yeah, I'm thinking low A. She's tied to Fischl. There's nothing really wrong with that, though, so is Kaching, I suppose. Yeah, she's tied to Fischl, but, like, they cover for each other's weaknesses. It's a good team. She's a fine aggravator. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I think I think she deserves it. All right, I think this is, this is what you were all waiting to see, wasn't it? This is the one that you were waiting for me to put down, right? Okay, well, where am I putting her? She's not D, she's not C. Hmm. What do we think, lads? What do we think? High C is crazy. She's not that bad. Okay, she's not that bad. Jeez. <laughs> D is wild. S tier. Nah, not S. Bro, you're saying that she's good as around? Nah. Okay. I, I would, if you put Shogun in B tier, then so help me God. See, I think she could even be high A. Because I think that... Like, but the only thing, because she can drive double hydro. Like, like maybe how stupid, but I, she can drive double hydro. I feel like that's better than most of the others. Or am I crazy? What do you think? Uh, I, I, ride in C0. Yeah, C0 ride on double hydro driver. That's not terrible, is it? 
She is our Adam's B. She chose higher. Yeah, cause my fear is that I don't want to seem biased against Raiden, right? Because I feel like you could make a case for her in A, right? But I feel like her team, because like, she can drive double hydro, and it's a decent team. I wouldn't say yes. No way. But look, Raiden just like a cooking fish or better than her in all her team. Yeah, that's the thing. She, she's, oh yeah, okay. Well, who am I kidding, bro? She, she, she'll probably go down here. I don't think she's top of A, but she can be in A. Low A, high B. Yeah, I don't think I would put her in like. She's not horrible to the point of C, but she's definitely fallen off a bit. I don't glaze her. The reason I'm putting her in A is because, bro, there are some worse units coming up. There are some worse units coming up. I think she's fine here. As your infinite interruption res and flexibility makes her almost a valuable Clorand. I feel like Clor the Clorand is flexible while doing more damage. Is it as much flexibility as Raiden? No. But Raiden's additional flexibility is not that useful. Ah, yeah, she can work in Eula. That's great. Otherwise, she can work with double Hydro, which is something Clorand doesn't have in fairness. But there's other drivers for that, you know? Raiden's bad, but definitely has more value than Yaimiko. I don't think she's as good as she used to be, for sure. Okay. B Do is B for B for Beto. She's like fine. You're not really using her anywhere anymore. I, taser setups, I guess, but like Taser's kind of been dead for a long time. You know, I'm putting Beto and B. What do we think? It, it, it's not that her kid is bad. It's just that Abyss is very single target centric. She's more of an Imaginarium character at the stage. Taser's kind of falling off. Otherwise, she's good if you're trying to do Taser. Beto with C tier. Yeah, I mean, I can see it, but I don't. I don't really want to say she's C tier because we have some worse units coming up. I feel like saying that Beta with C would be like. I don't want to put them her on the level of, like, the others. Uh, B too high. Uh, barely, 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 beta was low B, high C. Mmm. See, that's the thing. She doesn't really work anymore. I feel like, I, like in a lot of teams, I feel like B is glazing a bit. Beta doesn't function as Beta main. Yeah, yeah, you make a point. You're, you literally play Beta all the time. Okay, official S, obviously. She's very flexible. She's a fantastic Electro character. Like, that goes without saying, isn't it? <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I think she's better than the likes of Kuki and Sara and stuff. I'd say Fischl is still, like, surprisingly decent. I, I think she's good, personally. You can make an argument for her not being S. I can understand why someone would put her in A, because they would rather use more specific buffers. I mean, because Fischl is mostly, like, a jack-of-all-trades type character. But she's quite a good jack-of-all-trades. Like, okay, sure, she's not providing anything overly specific. But, honestly, her sub-DPS is good. Uh, her flexibility is quite good. She's great in Aggravate. Like, by Electro standards, she is quite good. But then again, the Electro bar, you know. But she she is a good four-star. Like, she's a very good four-star. What do we think? Fischl S. Yeah, I, I believe she deserves S. Should I put her above Clorand? What do we think? Because Fischl's more flexible, is the thing. I personally would put Clorand higher. But what do we think? Also, S, but Fischl weighs him down. Good point. <laughs> She's S by Electro standards, yeah. It's funny that she only does damage and makes her better than nearly every Electro. Shows how Electro is, yeah, true. Oh, the cryo tier list was vile. Uh, Clorand is official driver. I mean, no, that's more like Kaching. I feel like Clorand is good enough to do her own damage and just use Kujo Sar instead. Okay, I'd say this uh, This is the current arrangement. If uh, I could swap it around, though. Dory! So, okay, this is gonna sound a bit goofy, uh, go goofy pants. It's gonna sound a bit goofy pants, but Dory with in, 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 driving, driving for healing... It's not the worst thing in the world. There is literally infinitely better options, but at least it works. Would we say that's like a C tier or, or, or B tier quality? Dory's an amazing healer. That's what I'm saying. Like, she's a good healer. See, okay, I'll put her C above Beto because at least she works, right? I, I Yeah, B possibly, but she does on field. No, but she can on field too, I guess. Dory sucks because the ugliest design in the game. She is. Yeah, and I don't like her design either, to be honest, but who does? All right, Ranger is like. He's got one use case in Thundering Fury, otherwise you're not playing Razor. And if you're playing Thundering Fury, play any other Dendro team, please. Like, otherwise you're playing Physical Razor, which should not exist. It's just terrible. Razor's a terrible character. I think we can agree on that, right? Poor Razor. I, it makes me sad he was my, my first main, but he's just not good. Uh, I see six. She can be serviceable, but not very great. Uh, Dory? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's serviceable, at least. Okay. The legendary Sethos. God and king of all world. Okay, enough glaze. Do I think B is, like, fine? I really crapped on him in the past, but he, he surprisingly, much to my surprise, he can do a bit of damage if you build him. Uh, and you gotta play his normal attack playstyle, though. His charge attack playstyle is rank. Yeah, B. Yeah, I, I totally trashed on this guy when he came out. He's honestly, like, okay. Set those uh, equals Tainari, but purple. Yeah, I wouldn't really play charge attack play style. Charge attack play style sucks. Uh, set those who was pitched as having two play styles. The best way was neither of them. Yeah, that's a really good line. If you're gonna play set those, you play the normal attack style. That's my opinion. 
Uh, Seth does a C below Beto. Mm, possibly. He doesn't do good damage. He definitely doesn't go to do good damage, but, like, in relative to the other characters, I think he's fine there. Okay, Sino? What do we think? Sino. I would say Sino above Sethos. Right, Sino is literally just playstyle issue Haven. It is literally just playstyle issue I'm being way too expensive. Like, like what, what, what is bro even doing? Sino is genuine DTR, literally my only regret pull. Sino's a four star lower than Sethos. <laughs> okay, I think Sino's at least better than Sethos. If you've played Overload Sino, you know what I mean. Sino lower A. I really want to put him on Yai's level. I think Yai's better. I have C6R1 Sino. He goes in D tier because I'm still salty. Okay, you're the one. How are you salty? You swiped all that time to get the character. Surely you weren't like accidentally like slipping on a banana peel in your car and like swiped across your PC screen. Overload Sino is crazy. It actually works. Give it a go. Right in the definition of having 50 bad teams but being versatile. That is why I say that in my videos. When I say that, I'm talking about Ayato and Raiden. I don't care if you have 50 bad teams. Just have, like, three good ones, please. I think that's fair enough for Sino. Sino's not Yai level. Yeah, that's why I'm putting him in B. Okay. ka -ching. I'm gonna put ka Probably above Sino. Like, uh, she's just official driver. There's really nothing else for me to say. She's a fine official driver. Yeah, like, that's all to say. ka Ag is pretty good. Yeah, I'd say high B. I, I do think ka is better than Sino, for the record. It's just that I don't think I would put her on the level of Yai, who's a better aggravate DPS, or Raiden, who's able to, like, drive double Hydro and stuff. A or high B? Yeah, I think I think this is a good placement for her. There's not really much else to add here. She just drives Fischl very well, because she applies a lot of Electro. ka above Sino and GG. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, Lisa can work as, like, a TDDS user in Yulo teams. Or just a TDS user in general, used for Death Shred, some Dendro teams, but she's not that useful. I, I would say, like, middle of C. What do we think? Alisa above Sethos. I don't know. What do we think? C6 leads from Death Shred, you can- Yeah, but you're not- Not a lot of people have C6 Okay, you make a point, though. Like, I don't want to lean too hard on accessibility. Hakushin Lisa is weirdly good with Nervi. Oh, interesting. Didn't know that. Sethos is better than Lisa. Hakushin Lisa comes in the same cost, though, so C. I would say this is a fine placement for Lisa. Also, guys, you know how bad Electro Traveler is? We all forgot they existed. What? We all forgot Electro Traveler existed. Don't even add. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Electro Electro Traveler, as far as we're concerned, isn't even real. Here's the Electro list. I I think this is probably the list that all of us have agreed on the most. There have been like no real like. Oh, what's such a bad list, you hooligan? Yeah. A uh, fun fact, Electro Traveler can't even solve a required Electro Puzzle on the Electro Island, which is the whole point they're given for free, which is the funniest thing. Who you see? I don't know, man. I, I, I heard they, like, don't do anything because they don't exist. True. They use Electro in a not one cutscene, and I legit forgot they could- Yeah, Traveler can, like, switch elements, like, in cutscenes, which is crazy. But yeah, so that's the Electro list. Very cool. Well, there you have it. Thank you for all of your support on the last video. It makes me happy to see that you all enjoyed the video since it was a little bit different. I'll have the other parts to this little series uploaded over the course of the next couple of days. Hopefully this video was able to tell you who the strongest Electro characters are. This has been Juice, signing out. And the best thing about Electro is Cloran's design. Best Electro design. Agree or disagree?